With us now, the governor from Virginia, the chairman of the National uh, Democratic National Committee, Governor Tim Kaine. Thanks very much for joining us. Good to see you, sir. You bet, guys. Good to be with you. All right. Great to be back. Uh, yes, it's good to have you back on the show. I'm just cobbling together the, in the elements of this story. I don't know if you heard about it, but uh, during uh, the president's speech at Georgetown, uh, I guess the White House asked the university to cover, cover the religious symbol that would be in the shot with him. And we have now um, a statement from, from the university. It's a Catholic university, Georgetown is, and it says this. I can't imagine as the Bishop's University and the National University of the Catholic Church that we would ever cover up our religious art or signage for any reason. Our Catholic faith is integral to our identity as an institution of higher education. And that's so that's from that's Catholic, Catholic University. University spokesman. And the sign actually was the sign, uh, the Jesus sign. What do you think, uh, Governor Tim Kaine, about this and, and how this helps or hurts the Democrats? What do you make of this story? Well, well, look, I'm a, I'm a great Catholic and like probably Joe and some others on the show, the way I heard this was that the White House uh, asked in terms of doing the speech at Georgetown that they wanted American flags as a backdrop. I don't know that they were choosy about exactly what room it was in or what else was there, but they wanted American flags as a backdrop. And so the university and the event organizers put up American flags. There wasn't a request specifically to cover up any uh, religious uh, symbols or statues as I understand it. Now, I haven't followed this too closely, but it, that, that was just my understanding. There's kind of a standard backdrop for a presidential what, speech and it's American black, flags. What, wasn't there a black... Uh there was a black triangle, was there not? Well, Jonathan K. Park? Black, a black plywood um, cover, um, which you can see over the, the president's shoulder there, which was they wanted to cover the organ pipes um, and also the IHS uh, the symbol, symbol of Jesus. Right. Yeah. Um, that was behind the president. Huh. Yeah. I, I think there's more to come on this. I, I'm not sure what they're going to do. If, in fact, it sounds like from, from what we're seeing, what Mika just handed me, that there was a White House request specifically to cover up uh, the Jesus sign, and there's a, the, this black, huge black mm -hmm. triangle covering that sign up. Huh? W w is that a mistake by the White House? If that's the case. Well, again, my, if, if my, my understanding is that they wanted the American flags, and that's the backdrop they want for speeches, and that was the request made at Georgetown. I haven't I haven't seen information from Georgetown complaining about it. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hearing it from you guys, but uh, as you know, when the president gives speeches, the American flags are the traditional backdrop he uses. Jonathan uh, Kane, Governor Kane, in the story that we're, we're um, looking at, it says, uh, quote, the White House asked Georgetown to cover a monogram symbolizing Jesus' name in Ga uh, Gaston Hall, which Obama used for his speech. This is according to CNSnews.com. Um, do you think this is um, unusual for the White House to, to call on um, an institution, a religious institution like Georgetown, even though it's a higher education uh, institution, to do something like this. Well, I, I'd have to check. I'd have to check uh, who CNSnews.com is and and check the source there. I didn't hear you mention any names, etc. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, you're running something by me from a, sor a news source that I'm not familiar with. Um, again, my understanding of this from end of the day yesterday was just what I've said, that the White House has a kind of tradition of using American flags as the backdrop to, to speeches.